Okay, I'm going to make a little video here. Um, get a lot of questions by members. Uh, how do you get to, or how do you get from some of the resorts in Akama to a little town here of uh, Akama, or where the arches are, or how to get to some of the restaurants, or La Buena Vida, or even Half Moon Bay, or or even across the highway, and how to get to the pueblo. This video is going to show you how to maneuver this little maze so let me um let me zoom in here and start off in front of the alcohol bay beach resort and uh, you just walk along the beach along the alcohol trail here past the secrets alcohol past uh alcohol caribe here till you get in front of the loja restaurant here um, and right here in this corner here is the Akamal webcam where everybody goes to get their daily Akamal fix or just to check on the, the weather, see how things are going and see what the situation is like at that particular time. Now you could either get to this area back over here through here which is in between the dive center or one of the restaurants here or you could get to it through this little section here this is where I go it's in between both these restaurants here the snack bar and the restaurant because I like walking in front of the webcam and, and waving obviously and I'll come around here and go through here to get to this area right here where you would walk around right here walk around right here until you get to the Hotel Akuma Caribe's office go through there and it'll put you right here in front of the arches okay now that you've seen that aerial view and then we'll we'll go through here and uh we'll walk this whole area or, or whatever you want to call it walk and drive it in google maps until we get to la buena vida over here and uh, then we'll go to to the pueblo trip advisor has this result turn off my phone here now like I said we ended up here so I'm gonna take this little guy and drag him over here that way you see what the street view looks like okay so now we're here this is where we came up uh, through the office here and the reason we had to come out through here is I'll show you why um, because um, this area here from here this fence kind of goes all the way across here and it's closed uh, matter of fact they got something on it where you can't even see the other side anymore um, this timestamp was 2017 so now in 2019 it's all closed matter of fact you could go here and kind of go back to see what it looks like in 2009 and in 2009 if you guys remember this is what it looked like the statue was still here um, you could this is where I was I was walking through this whole area here and you were able to come out through here you were able to come out through here it was all just open access now it's not like that anymore um, that's what it looks like in 2012 2016 and now in 2017 that's what it looks like in 2017 and now in 2019 like I said you can't even see this no more it's all closed off so that's why um, you have to go into the office here and come out the other side anyways now that we know that let's go down the road um over here on let me get rid of this uh over here on this side is uh Cuerva del Pescador and behind that is uh Turtle Bay Cafe um we keep coming over here and this is um the dive shop and right next to that I forget the name of that in that building but this is where you would walk through in between these two buildings to pay to get access to the beach now the people that have to pay are the people that are not staying in one of the hotels that don't have a wristband or um, people that are not using the loja restaurant or using the dive center uh, facilities uh, if you're just coming from out of town and you just want to snorkel and you're not going to use any of those facilities you're going to have to go through here and um I forget what it is I don't know five five bucks ten bucks I don't know what it is but anyways you pay to get through here and 
you get access to some lockers and maybe some uh, some showers or whatever but it's not that much but anyways that's that's where you go through there so let's uh, continue going over here and this is uh Acoma Norte uh, some restaurants La Buena Vida La Lunita and Que Onda uh, we'll be going to La, La Buena Vida that's as far as we'll go I just wanted to show you see what it looks like in street view now the walk is not too bad it's uh, if you like walking I mean it's a good walk um, you can see a lot of people are doing it um, I don't usually walk it because I like um, stopping at some of the pubs and having a few drinks and well you know after you have a few drinks you don't you really don't want to walk back it's easy going up there but it's 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 not fun coming back anyways they got a lot of nice uh, condos on each side of the road and if you zoom out of this if you come on your own and you want to zoom out you can you can see what all the condos are named and maybe look research a little further on them later on so let's continue here tell you I wish I was there right now anyways here we go here we are in front of uh, La Buena Vida go a little further over here there we go nice little bar restaurant um, some souvenir shops here keep going down that road you hit the other restaurants like La Lunita and Kelda and keep going even further you'll hit the uh, Yauku Lagoon if you want to do some snorkeling over there um, at that point I think I drive it's, it's a little further up there but anyways that's what it looked like going up there let me get out of this area and take you back over here so we could take a drive to the Pueblo so the opposite direction will get you going over the highway which is right here you go up this way you're going towards Tulum there's the secrets back to Alcumal Plow the Carmen over there and a lot of people ask about taxis and colectivos this is if you were staying at one of the resorts and you wanted to go somewhere down this highway um, you would walk from the resort to the highway and you'll see these little um I guess they're like green I don't know green stands or whatever they are right here this one on this side and that one on that side and that's where you would wait to take one of these colectivos and they'll take you all along the highway and you could use that as transportation probably the cheapest transportation you could you could use I'm not sure what it costs we could somebody on our group could uh, answer that question so that's that's going over the bridge into the Pueblo so let me um, zoom out of this so you can kind of see where we're at so like I said we walked we uh, we drove down or went down this this road went over the highway to the Pueblo um, I showed you the little green areas where you pick the colectivo so if you were for example staying at a at the Akamal Bay Resort you just walk down this path till you get to the highway and there should be some sections there where you could catch the colectivo and the same thing with the secrets here you walk down that road and you could probably catch them somewhere around there and they'll you know they'll take you all the way to Tulum that way or all the way to Plano del Carmen that way anyways hope that was uh, helpful beneficial and uh, if you have any more questions you could just ask uh, in the comment section thanks